G'day guys, welcome again, our beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different for myself, something that I haven't actually done before. Now I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube uh, of uh, Emily Noel's uh, My Thousand Dollar Sephora Fantasy Basket, I believe it is. And I didn't participate in that one because I don't really buy from Sephora. I haven't in a long time because our Sephora in Australia is... It's a little bit different. We don't get the same sort of products and... Um, yeah, so uh, unfortunately I don't order from Sephora because of that reason. There's just too many different variables. Anyway, uh, one of the stores that I purchase from quite a fair bit actually, uh, what would be my version of your Sephora is Mecca. And Halio, who is also um, one of the girls from Beauty News, actually her channel was previously called Just By The Makeup. Uh, I think it was a couple of days ago, just uploaded her Mecca fantasy basket and I thought you know what? I can get behind that one so I thought why not I had a look online too to see whether I could rack up half decent basket and uh, yeah I did actually I I can't remember the total amount but I think it was it was either 2,300 and something or 3,000 I'm not entirely sure but I can tell you that the things that I did put in my basket um, as much as I'd like them there is no way that I would purchase half of these things uh, if I didn't have unlimited money. So I thought it'd be interesting just to have a little bit of a chat, some of the things that I put in my basket, why I put them in my basket, and yeah, let's see how we go. So if it sounds like something that you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of products here that are definitely higher end. Um, some of them aren't even new, but they're sort of like new to me, just things that I've been curious about that I just didn't really wanna pull the trigger on and purchase. But uh, I'm going to start talking about them, but they're not necessarily in any order. So I might talk about like Hourglass now and then Hourglass in five minutes. So the first product that I have in my basket is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. I don't know what it is about this product, but I just like the look of it. I do have one Hourglass um, lighting powder at the moment in dim light. And unfortunately, I wasn't supposed to purchase that one. I meant to pick up the Ethereal. And I don't hate it, but I really do want to try some of these other ones, including the Ethereal. But this one looks very, very interesting, but that's $80. And it's like, on a, on a normal day-to-day -day basis, I look at that and I'm like, I, I really don't need that. Not unless it's going to catfish me. And I, I really don't think that this product is going to do that. But it is something that if I had unlimited funds, um, that I, yeah, it was something that I'd put in my basket if I wasn't worried about money. So... It does look really, really nice. The next thing that I have in my basket, I actually have two, is a MAC lipstick. Um, I haven't tried any MAC lipsticks yet, and I'm trying to find like a, just a, I don't know, maybe a cool toned nude or something like that, or just something really, really basic. And the two that I had my eye on was the uh, Twig and Mare. I Mare or Mer, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but either way, they are, for the minis, they are $21 each. So I put the minis in my cart and not the big ones because I am really funny on lipsticks. I do have quite a few, but if I don't like it, I'll never use it again. So I figured, well, I'll put the minis in there. Uh, so I do want to try those. Both of them, I believe, actually, uh, Twig is Satin Finish and Mare or Mer, whatever, is Matte. I do prefer the matte kind of look. I don't really like shiny sort of glossy um, lipsticks unless it's an actual gloss. So I really do want to try those and I probably would buy those anyway. Uh, I just haven't got that far yet. Next product on my list is the Too Faced Sun Puppy Bronzer. I don't actually want this necessarily to use and this is probably why I would never buy it. I just think the packaging is freaking adorable. Um, I mean, oh gosh, I'd want to try it to see whether it works, but I actually just like the packaging. So, um, that's in my basket pretty much for that reason. Not a, I would like to try the product, but I like the packaging more than anything else. I think it's fucking adorable. So that's $50 and that's in there as well. Next product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I've not actually tried any brow products from them and... I do want to try them. I'm currently using the e.l.f. one at the moment. I've tried Maybelline. I've tried Revlon. I've tried all of those sorts and eh, they're okay, but I really do want to try some ABH uh, brow products. So that one's in there and I haven't put a shade in because I don't know, but that's $38. The next one is the ABH Dip Brow Gel. 
Normally I like to use a pencil in my eyebrows just to define the sort of tail because uh, it gets a little bit lost on me and then I would normally go in and fill with a brow gel so I figured if I'm going to get the ABH, uh, what is it called, um, brow whiz pencil then I may as well get the ABH dip brow gel to go with it. So that is $32 but also from ABH I'd also like to get the Soft Glam eyeshadow palette. I really would actually like to try the Norvina, and I do believe I've got that in my cart as well. But this one looks really, really nice too, because it looks like it's got some mauves in it, and I really dig mauves at the moment. So, well, at the moment, I always dig a mauve, but um, this looks really, really simple to use. And the only reason why I haven't brought it is because it's seventy-six dollars, and I've <laughs> when I buy a palette, when I pay money like that, I've really got to love it to pull the trigger and purchase it. And I like it, but I don't know whether I love it. Um, and sometimes you don't know these things until you actually buy it and try it. But I'm too much of a tight ass to risk it. So <laughs> that's why it's in my fantasy cup. Next one is, well, the next one is the Norvina eyeshadow palette from ABH. And this one I probably would buy. Um, I just haven't got that far yet. So I love pretty much every color, every shade that's in this palette. Um, I don't know why. I, I think the reason why I haven't brought it yet is because I've already got a couple of purple palettes. So I've got the ColourPop, um, it's my pleasure palette, the purple one. I have a Juvia's Place. I can't remember what the palette's called, but I'll put it up here. I have that one. Um, and I have some purples that I um, brought single shadow shadows from ColourPop. I'm not saying the formula's the same, but I think because I, I figured to myself I've already got enough purples, I don't need this palette. I've just sort of just pushed it back. Um, and to be honest with you, I probably am not going to get it. I, I'd like to, but there's other things that I want more than this. So, But still, $76. If I didn't have to pay for it or if I had unlimited funds, I'd definitely get it. Now this one here, the next thing that I've got, I would definitely not buy on my budget, but it is the Shantakai, I'm not sure, I'm going to slaughter this, Philanthropy. I think it's Philanthropy. Th 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 oh my gosh, I'm already muddling it up. Th th Philanthropy, oh my gosh. Philanthropy Cheek Colour Blushes. Now, I think these are stunning for the looks of them. But I do know from Teresa is Dead that they are very small and there is no way in hell that I would spend $64 on a single blush, especially for the size, but they do look luxurious and I can understand why people want to buy them. Um, definitely bougie, but I just, I just can't. I just couldn't. So, <laughs> Alright, so the next thing from Shantakai is the Luminescence Eye Shade in the shade pangolin so that is the animal which i'll obviously put up here but it's 83 dollars for an eyeshadow and don't get me wrong it's beautiful and i do believe that some of the money that you spend on these goes towards protecting or helping um those animals but i i wanted two of these so not only did i want that one but i also wanted the elephant one i think it's absolutely stunning but I, there's no way, no way in hell I could justify $83 on a single eyeshadow. I mean, even if I absolutely loved it, I just, mmm, I just can't do it. Stunning, stunning. Packaging is everything in these guys. But anyway, moving on from that, there is another Shantakai product. And this is because of Teresa. No doubt, hands down, she's been raving on about this crap, talking about how it hardcore is a um, catfish. And I want a catfish as well. Uh, this is the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And look, at, just look at that packaging. Isn't it absolutely stunning? But at $128, <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have to stand on a few corners for that. So, um... <laughs> Yeah, I just, I just couldn't. I couldn't. Not, not even for a birthday. I'd do 50% off. Yeah, okay. But $128, I just could not. So, stunning, beautiful. Mmm, want it, but it's never going to happen. So, moving on. So, the next product that I've got on my list in my cart is another Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And this one is what I said before. This is the Ethereal Light. This is the one that I originally wanted to pick up. And for some stupid fucking reason, I ended up with Dim Light. I know it was my own fault. The problem was, I had two web browsers open. I was researching on which ones I wanted. 
and I had dim light in one and I had ethereal light in the other, I'd closed them both down and when I reopened it up it was still in my cart but I didn't check which one it was and I just went boop purchase and it rocks up in the packaging and I'm like what the fuck and I was just about to message Mecca and be like what's going on and then I looked and I realised I knew what I'd done. I knew it was a mistake but I do love it. Um, so yeah, Ethereal Light is definitely on there. It's a cool translucent one, and I think that it would be absolutely stunning uh, like underneath the eyes. Um, yeah, I do really, really want that. And that one's $77, and ooh, it is still pretty, it is pretty up there, um, but I do want to try it. So The other ambient lighting powder that I want is Luminous Light, which is a champagne pearl. Um, I don't want this one as much as I want Ethereal, but uh, if money wasn't an option, I would definitely put this uh, on the list. So, I also would like to try the um, Ambient Lighting Blushes, and there's quite a few here. These are $64, so I would like to try the um, Vibra Poppy, the Champagne Rose, and the Soft Plum. I have no idea if any of them are going to complement my skin or not, but they just look absolutely gorgeous. And that packaging, guys, I mean, not only the packaging on the outside, but the product on the inside, it just, it looks beautiful. It makes me want to use it. And um, I do know that every time I open up my other, my uh, dim light one, I do feel really pampered when I use it. It makes me feel really good. And uh, I like that. I like that with my makeup. So... The next thing on my list is also from Hourglass. Now, I do want more than one of these, but I couldn't pick which shades that I wanted. So let's just say for argument's sake that I only put one on the list at $58. It's the Confessions Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipsticks. Not only is the packaging outstanding, once again, they do that really, really well. I don't know, there's just something about these lipsticks that just look easy to apply. They look comfortable. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Um, Kat from uh, Beauty News raves on about these, but also she's from Kit Snitch as well, so I'll put her details up here as well. I love those girls. Um, so yeah, I would probably, if I had the money, I would probably pick up maybe six of these. Um, but yeah, <laughs> moving on. The next thing that I put in my cart is the NARS Climax Mascara. Now I love a good mascara and I'm on the hunt for the perfect one and it just seems to me that the more I spend on the mascaras the more disappointed I am unfortunately. I really do love the um, Essence Lash Princess uh, False Lash Effect that I told you guys from Essence. I brag on about that but I mean that's a $10 mascara and it does everything that I expect it to do. And all the other mascaras that I've tried, you know, I've tried the Too Faced Better Than Sex one, and although I like it, I hated it to start off with until I really learned how to use it. I've tried the um, Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I don't really like that. Like, your lashes have to be perfect, like, perfectly clean, perfectly separated before you start going in. Otherwise, you're going to have a mess everywhere, clumps, transfer, crumbling. Uh. But I do want to try this. I have heard a lot of good things about it. And um, at $38, I actually would pay that, um, but it's just not on my high priority list. So that's why it's in my uh, my cart for my... Oh, my brain's not working all of a sudden. My fantasy cart. Moving on, the next thing that I've got in my fantasy cart is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have tried a um, sample of this, and I think I really liked it. I just can't remember. But I don't want to spend $48 on a concealer unless it's like perfect. Unless it's not going to crease under my eyes or it's, I don't know. But yeah, I just, mm, I just would rather not. Uh, but I really do want to give this guy another go. And if I, there was a 50% off sale or even, even a 30% off sale, I would definitely pick this guy up and have a go. The next thing on my list, guys, is NARS lipsticks. That's all it says. Uh, I should have clicked on it. But, you know, I have not tried any lipsticks from NARS, and that's why I thought that I would definitely try one. So these are $42, and um, I don't know how many of these that I would pick up. Probably one just to start off with, because, I, like I said, I don't need a ton of lipsticks. And since I've already, like, put in six of the uh, Hourglass ones, um, yeah, I just want to try the formula and see whether I like it or not. So I... I have a lot more liquid lipsticks than I do bullet lipsticks, but I really would like to get some more bullet ones because I think they're just a little bit easier to apply uh, in a rush uh, than the liquid ones. And hmm. So anyway, moving on, the next thing on my list is also from NARS. It's the 
Power Matte Lip Pigment. I definitely would love to try these. I've not tried anything uh, like that before. These are $42 and some of the shades just look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and yeah, I just want to try liquid lipstick from NARS. I haven't, I haven't played around with NARS at all yet, so soon, <laughs> very soon. Next thing on my list is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. Um, also heard really good things about their lip pencils. Never tried them. They're $43 though, which is why I haven't pulled the trigger. Um, yeah, I'd probably pick up a couple of these and see how they go. Moving on, next thing is Patchology. Now, I have tried the Eye Reviving Flash Patch 5-Minute Hydrogels, and I absolutely love them. Uh, but like I said, I'm a tight ass and I don't want to pay for them. So these are $24, and I think it is a 5-pack? Yeah. I suppose that's not really too bad. I mean, what's... I suppose $5 a packet isn't really that bad. I really am a tight ass. <laughs> um... Yeah, I do like these Patchology ones. These are my second favourite eye patches, or eye gels, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I would definitely pick up some of those. Next thing on my list is another thing that Teresa is dead brags about, and I really want to try this one. And I, mm, It's so expensive. It is the Liquid Silk Canvas from Tatcha. So I have dry skin, and I have seen that sort of one that you scoop your finger in and people liked that even Teresa liked that but Teresa said this this liquid silk canvas one is far better so I would really like to try that I haven't had a um a, what do you call it a primer that really does amazing things for me so um I would like to try this just to see uh whether it's better than just having a moisturizer on or having a moisturizer and a primer as well so but at $83, it has to be in my fantasy cart and not in my real life one, unless it's on sale. So let's move on. Next thing on my list is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I like the packaging with this and the fact that it's got Dewy in the name. Um, I think that it would probably work for me. But this is $109 and that's just a little bit rich for me. I like my moisturizers to be around about the $50 mark. Um, mm. So I definitely would pick this up if it was on sale. And it's definitely in my fantasy basket. Next thing is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The most expensive foundation that I've tried so far uh, would, well, that I've purchased a full bottle of is the Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting one. So I haven't really dabbled with uh, expensive or higher end foundations and that's why this one's on my list. Don't know whether it would be any good for me or not, but it's there. Next thing on my list is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. Now this one I definitely want to get and I'm I'm hoping that I do pick it up before it's too late. Um, I think that the shades in there are right up my alley and I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've heard that the uh, shimmers are really foiled and um, yeah, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. $72, it's not too bad priced. I mean, it's still a little bit steep, but when you're looking at something like Jeffree Star's eyeshadow palettes being roughly around about the same price or if not even more, um, yeah. I'd buy this one. So, moving on, the next thing I want to try is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, or I think it's Soleil, uh, matte bronzer. So, I've got the milk chocolate and the chocolate Soleil ones on here because I don't know which one I would like better, and if money wasn't an option, then why not have both? So, I'd like to try those because I only have two bronzers at the moment. I've got the Physicians Formula one, and I have a Body Shop one, and both of them are okay. Like the, uh, Physicians Formula 1 is definitely far better, but the Body Shop one is a cool tone bronzer and I really enjoy that. So I really do want to try quite a lot more bronzers, try and find something that just is a little bit better for my skin that doesn't look patchy or too orange or... yeah. The next thing is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Long Wearing Matte Lipstick. I do have one of these at the moment. I have Cool Girl and I like it much more on the models than I did myself, the shade, but I absolutely love the formula. I do have another one um, on the way which is uh, Queen Bee, but I've just been waiting for ages for that one to rock up. But they came out with some newer shades and I can't remember what shade it is that I really wanted, but I think it's called Into You. So I'd really like to pick that one up as well, uh, maybe another couple of other shades because I really do dig the formula. And um, yeah, they are $34 each and that's it's a, it's a little bit more than I like to spend on my lipsticks, but it's not too expensive. 
Next thing I want to try is the Urban Decay All Nighter Lasting Makeup Spray. Um, I just want this one for curiosity's sake, to be honest with you, because I don't generally use a uh, long-lasting makeup spray um, unless I've got somewhere to be and I never have somewhere really important to be where my makeup has to be perfect. Um, but I do want to try it, so uh, if money wasn't an option, then why not? Next thing I'd like to try is the Evan Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer because I have dark circles and um, sometimes I need a full coverage concealer. So I would like to try this, plus the packaging's really freaking cool. And at $23 it's really not that expensive. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much is in there, but hmm, it's not too bad. Moving on, the next thing that I would like to purchase would be the Urban Decay Naked Honey Eyeshadow Palette. Another one that Teresa has been banging on about, but um, I don't know, I just like these colours because they're very grungy, but the thing is, is I'm not sure how often I would actually wear something like this. So that's the reason why I haven't brought it. At $83, I look at it and I go, ooh, mm, mm. So if it was 50 bucks, even then I would be a little bit funny because I just don't know how often I would use these shades. I really love the colours, but I don't know whether I really love the colours on other people or whether I really like the colours on myself because I haven't really played around with anything like this before. So the next thing that's on my list, and this one is one of the first palettes that I saw once I got back into makeup and, and went, ooh. And I never brought it because there were so many mixed reviews. And this is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love the teal looking colours here, the purples in there, and, and even just the neutrals. I would use pretty much everything except for maybe, is that a black in there? Or is that just like a dark navy? I'm not sure. but. Yeah, uh, everything in there it looks like that I would use, but I'm just not sure about the formula. I've never tried anything from Urban Decay, so I have no idea. But I never pulled the trigger on that one, and I'm probably not going to. But it's in my fantasy basket. Next thing that's in my fantasy basket is like, actually there's three of these. This is the Wired 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in the shade Vivid Neon Blue. And this is $34, and I don't like to spend $34 on an eyeliner unless it's like... It's perfect. I've got really watery waterlines and uh, waterline <laughs> uh, lash line, and uh, nothing really stays in it. It sort of balls up in. It's just disgusting. And um, if these would stay put, then I would pay the thirty-four dollars. But I'm not sure if they would or not. The other color is uh, Deep End, which is a bright metallic peacock shimmer, and the other one is the shade Electric Empire, which is like this. Um, emerald green color absolutely stunning stunning but I just don't trust eyeliners so mmm need to find a really good formula haven't found it yet all right and the last two products that are on in my cart are from YSL I'm not gonna say the full name because I can't say it but the product is the Tatouage Couture Velvet Cream liquid lipsticks and um, yeah uh, actually one of them is one of them is the Velvet Cream, and the other one is a Liquid Matte Lip Stain. So I would like to try both of these formulas because I've not tried anything from these guys either. But at $62 a pop, it makes me cringe a little. Um, they do look really, really fancy. Uh, but yeah, I'd really like to try those. And um, that's everything that's on my uh, Mecca Fantasy Cart list. Some of them I will pick up eventually. I just don't know when that is. Um, preferably when they're on sale actually although some of those are really well priced I've got to say but a lot of the ones that I really do want are up in the 80 mark and I just can't for an eyeshadow palette I would be able to uh, justify it but for like for one of those single eyeshadows I could never justify $80 for a single eyeshadow um, some of the hourglass uh, lighting pow powders or the blush powder even that makes me cringe a little bit I mean I have one of them but I really don't like the price of it. It just makes me feel really uncomfortable spending that kind of money on myself for one product, you know. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, that was pretty much just my relaxed version of that. And um, I thought we'd kick back and just have a chat. And I would really be interested to know what's in your fantasy basket. So uh, check out Mega and see what you would like. I'm sure there's plenty more that I could have put on my list, but I think it was it was pretty steep already. So I was, I was quite surprised. Um, but yeah guys, what would you like? Let me know down below and I hope to see you in my next video. 
So anyway, I just thought that we'd just have a laid back video, you know, sit in my nighty, talk a little bit of shit about some makeup, and um, I really surprised myself with how much that I'd actually buy from Mecca if, you know, money wasn't an option. And I'd be really interested to know what you guys would buy, or if you like any of the products that, um, that I'm talking about and why, or maybe there's something that I missed out. Anyway, drop me a line down below, let's have a chat about it, and uh, I tag you. So if you're watching this and uh, you upload videos, uh, or you just want to tell me down below what you guys would buy or put in your Sephora basket, go for it. I would love to interact with you guys. And if you are part of uh, the crew, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button. But like I said, if everybody else, don't forget to check the bell. It means you'll be updated every time that I upload. And um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.